Hey everyone, um, I've been a little absent lately. I've I joined a new organization and I've just got a lot of stuff going on, meetings and uh, socializing, and that's very draining for me. I'm not the kind of person who is energized by socializing with people. Um, so. I'm sorry, I know people are, well, I know a lot of people are more used to me just being on every day, and it was a goal of mine to try and vlog every day for a while, but it's just not really possible at this point, um, but I do have something important I want to talk about, and it's personal and political, so let's get started. Um, I think something that becomes important to women who are struggling um, through this fucked up world that we live in is sisterhood. And it's a concept we hear about and I don't think it's a con it's something that we ever really feel very often. I mean there's there's moments but um, I think it's really important that we try to build that with one another, you know, as activists. We need to be supporting each other. Um, you know, one of the one of the aha moments that really hit me in the gut this week was, even though I I knew this already, but one of my friends in real life, we were having like you know one of the little consciousness raising group type things and. She said to me, she or well, she said to the group, she's like, you know, this this is really bothering me, and I don't know what to do about it because, you know, the majority of the time when there's conflict and resentment and anger and fighting between women, it's usually because of something to do with a man. There's, on some level, it has something to do with men or a man. And it can go back very far, or it can go back, you know, or, or it can be something that's obvious. But you have to look at kind of what the source of that is. And I thought, I think of so many relationships in my life with women where I let men get in the way of those relationships and we really have to value each other more than that. I mean, our society teaches us that women are not as valuable as men. And even as women, even though we are women, we think that a lot of the time. And even though maybe intellectually we know it's stupid, it's so common that we'll put a man before other women, or we'll, we'll let men get in the way of our relationships with other women, or we just don't value women's friendship or our relationships with men in the same way we would value a man's. And it's always as if we defer to men. Men are more logical, men are more, um, you know, we're going to get more out of being friends with men. And maybe materially, maybe materially, materially that's true, but I mean, as far as our well-being goes as women, we have to learn to value each other. So, yeah, I just, I just noticed that this whole, this whole crap has really just been about divide and conquer. And what, what people who want to divide and conquer do is they go for the weakest link. They go for somebody who's an easy target and they get everyone fighting about that, you know, pulling people apart from one another. And, uh, We, <laughs> we can't let that happen. You know, we're such a small community as it is of like-minded people. 
And I know a lot of people will be listening to this who aren't members of the community I'm talking about here of, you know, feminists, but we are a very small community of people, and I don't know, I, I do want to say to people, like, what, from what I've gathered in the past few weeks is that our opinions are not uncommon. And I want that to give you, like, a lot of strength, okay? It's not... I think people, they feel overwhelmed by an issue, or they feel wrong for talking about it. But when it, when this issue is brought up and they're given a place where they realize that somebody's not going to judge them for speaking what they really feel about the subject... I've just seen people flower up and just talk about so much pain and anger about what this culture does to us. So there's a lot of hope to be had. Uh, hope's the wrong word. It implies kind of a lack of agency. There's a lot of optimism to be had about how we feel. and. I think as far as operating in an arena like this, where we're very hated irrationally, we just have to learn to value each other more than we do currently. It feels like every, every one of us is a very important individual um, with a lot of value. And none of us are perfect. I don't want to make that out. Um, we all have a lot of flaws, but we've got to we've got to take care of each other, and we've got to protect our own. Um, I'm not willing to throw anyone under the bus for things that have happened. Um, so. Yeah, that's, that's just how I feel, and I think a lot of it does have to do with sisterhood and solidarity. I mean, don't let, don't let reactionary forces divide us. Don't. Okay. I think we have, the, I think we can disagree with one another, and I think we can do it in a way that is more healthy. Okay. I think we need to, I think we need to say, maybe step back and say, okay, yeah, I disagree with this, but you're also, you know, I guess the only word I can call you is, you know, you're a comrade, so let's take care of one another, you know, I mean, this, in this, it's so important because I've felt very abandoned by the communist community on YouTube um, for a lot of the sexist bullshit I've had to go through and a complete lack of compassion or willingness to treat me like a comrade. You know, a lot of personal bullshit and lack of recognition of that. So. I need, I need to know that people aren't just going to throw one another under the bus if somebody fucks up. <sighs> yeah. Well, anyway, I, I hope to be vlogging regularly this week. Um, I'll talk to you all soon.